in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. I know this is a video that a lot of y'all have been waiting from me. As soon as Aventus cologne dropped, boom, everybody was off to the races. Yo, I'm getting a bottle. Yo, I'm getting a bottle. Yo, I'm going to the event. Yo, I'm getting this. And I was almost one of those fucking people. Until, until I saw that price point. The 100 ml is like 430 something. Bruh, no. Kuba not doing that. I'm not, no, I can't do that. So I got a sample and a budget version to bring y'all motherfuckers. I'm gonna give you a little two for one special right now. Let's roll my motherfucking music so y'all bitches can hear my thoughts and opinions on Aventus Cologne, the new release. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, c 3 u 3 b 3 a Ah, Aventus, Aventus, Aventus. I mean, you guys have seen my videos on Aventus. You guys have heard my thoughts on Aventus. Now, there might be some kind of miscommunication on my part to make y'all think that I hate Aventus. I don't hate Aventus. Aventus is a fragrance that is loved by billions. The problem is oversaturation of the fragrance for me. I've been in situations that me, the perfume guy, has been in a room wearing Aventus and the three non-perfume dudes are wearing Aventus. So me, I like to have that little bit, that little bit of level of exclusivity. Not so much price point exclusivity, but product. At least, like, yo, what are you wearing? Not, oh shit, you got on Aventus. Or, oh shit, you got Dior Sauvage on. You know how much that sucks as a YouTuber with 300 bottles to be pinpointed by a fragrance that three other dudes next to you are wearing? It kind of burns balls. And what we have on hand is Aventus Cologne. I just dropped it. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's very, very reminiscent to Aventus the original. But it does have a nicer, fresher component that I kind of enjoy. Maybe, maybe just 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 a pubic hair more. I wouldn't mind having this fragrance in my repertoire if it wasn't so astronomically overpriced. This shit is just mind blowing. I like a little bit of a fresher Aventus, sure. I haven't worn the original Aventus in maybe less than a year. But I would like a different modified version of Aventus and Aventus Cologne is that. You don't have such a hard pineapple opening. It does speak Aventus as soon as you spray it and I'm sure other content creators have expressed that same shit. $435 does not make any sense. Literally or figuratively, it just don't make sense. It don't make any money. Neither does 325. So if I can offer you the Aventus Cologne experience at a drastically modified price point with a motherfucking coupon, I suggest y'all bitches take advantage of it. And that's definitely by the house of Dua. And as soon as Aventus Cologne came out, them motherfuckers had the shit in production. And we're talking about none other than Poseidon's Cologne. Poseidon's Cologne is fucking stupid. This shit is like 99% close to Aventus Cologne. For a fucking, like a piss drop, a dribble, you forgot to do the extra shake on your shaft and you dribbled a little bit on your drawers. That's how fucking close these two are. For a dramatically different price point. It's just a no brainer. If you're looking for Aventus Cologne, if you're not looking to find the Creed store, order a sample online, buy a decant, or if you have a decant already and are just contemplating on whether to pull the trigger on this fragrance, that is a good fragrance. It's not bad. It just doesn't match the price point. Listen, to each their own, you, you hustle how you hustle. And to top it off, I did the side-by-side -side comparison to my wife, you know who hates everything. I was like, yo, smell this one and smell this one. And I put my arms on and I let her smell it. She smelled Aventus Cologne, she's like, okay. And she smelled Duos Poseidon Cologne. And she's like, oh, all right. She's like, I like that one. I go, which one? 
She goes, the one on the other arm, which is the Poseidon cologne. And I'm like, why? Tell me why. Because you're just picking shit randomly. She goes, no, I just feel the other one was a little bit sharp on the opening. And this one's actually a little bit more tame. And I was like, oh, really? Hmm, that's kind of interesting. She goes, yeah, I kind of like that one because it just removes that sharp opening. On the I'm like, mm, I don't know if I agree with that, but I, I let it mellow out. And I'm like, damn, does that sharp opening kind of affect the performance? No. Not at all. This shit is still beastly. It still has the dual quality, even though it's a freshie. This one still has solid performance, actually. It wasn't bad at all. The performance on the events is Cologne. Actually, a lot better than I anticipated, being such a fresh opening. If you're interested in getting Aventus Cologne, I'm just gonna point to this. Aventus Cologne. Until this shit goes down in the secondary market at least 35 to 40%, and you're still gonna pay top dollar for it, Poseidon Cologne, is the only alternative. Is it a ball sprayer? I enjoy the fragrance. I hate the price point, but I enjoy the fragrance. But Poseidon Elixir is the full ball sprayer. Aventus Cologne is not for 430 something dollars. You bugging out. And that's my fucking opinion. You can take it, you can rub your ass with it, you can do whatever the fuck you want, but Poseidon Cologne is exactly Aventus Cologne without you going into chapter seven bankruptcy. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and these ridiculously way more affordable aventus -y fresh nuts. And I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is? It's the, well, cost-effective motherfucker in the game, bitch. Smooches. <laughs>